So you're really good at formulas and sheets, but there's always someone who adds a cell, shifts some rows, or moves something around that just breaks your whole setup. Well, this superpower is for you. With Array Formula, you can automate your formulas for every row in your sheet. So no matter what someone else does, it'll always calculate against that row. Let me show you. So in this sheet, we're looking at a basic entry form where somebody says, I need these supplies, I need this many of them. And there's two calculations that we need to do. So one's a lookup formula to see what the unit price is, and one will be a calculation to multiply that quantity by the unit price. So our formula for the lookup uh, is a basic VLOOKUP where we're saying, let's look up the name of the supply on our second sheet, which has the prices. And when we do so, it pulls out that unit price. Now we know that we can drag this down, we can use the autofill function if it suggests it, we can copy paste it, but that all requires then an individual formula for every cell. So the way to automate this is to wrap this whole formula in the array formula function. And when you do that and close the parentheses, nothing happens because you only have it referencing a single cell you need to reference the range of cells or the array that you want it to calculate against. So in this case, I can do it all the way to the bottom, the end of the sheet, C2 all the way to C. And when I hit enter now, it's gonna calculate that for every single row. So for the first four rows, it does its job. And for the remaining rows, there's nothing to calculate against. So it actually doesn't show anything, it throws an error. There's ways to handle that and we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then for the second one, we can do the same thing. So this lookup, a little bit more of a, a advanced formula, but some calculations might just be a basic multiplication addition like this one. So the same thing, if we wrap this in array formula, which the shortcut for this is control shift enter, and it'll wrap that formula for you automatically, uh, nothing will happen and we want to uh, attach that whole range to it. So we'll say D2 to D to E2 to E. And again, when we do that, it'll calculate every single row on here um, against it and we get our correct numbers. So why is this cool? When would you use this? The best way to use this, in my opinion, is when you have a form attached to it. So we do have a form attached on top of this. And the reason why this is good is now because every time a new submission comes in, you are not going to have to drag your formula down or create a new formula or recalculate it. It will automatically look at that next row and calculate it. So if we put a name in, we choose one of them and we put a quantity in, hit submit, we'll go back over to our responses and we now see a new row with a new calculation. So now for example, if someone were to come and add a whole new row above, it wouldn't break your formula, it wouldn't shift things the wrong way. We could take these and slide them down and nothing would change because it is actually calculating the formula based on this first row and looking at each subsequent row. So you may find errors like this, which are helpful for showing you where the issues are. Whereas previously, if you were dragging down the formula and replicating the formula, sometimes you have a hard time finding where the error is. So this ends up being a really powerful tool for finding errors as well as keeping the automation rolling nicely. The one thing to know though is if you put any manual entry under that array formula, because it is trying to expand all the way down the row, it will break the whole formula. So if I type in my own number here, hit enter, it'll say, hold up, there's a huge reference error now because something is blocking that data. It's saying, I don't wanna overwrite what's in E7. Again, this is actually good because it shows you where the errors are and it flags quickly that there's a problem with everything. You're not chasing down this little one formula, formula that might've shifted into the wrong cell from someone moving something. So the next logical question is, how do you handle all of this? Well, the easy way to do it is to just um, constrain your own formula to the number of rows you have. But if you do that, when you enter a new submission in your form, say, it doesn't continue the calculation because you hard coded in the final cell. So the way to do it dynamically and keeping it all automated is with a function called array constrain. And if you want to know more about that, check out my other videos and learn about all the different ways you can constrain your arrays. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.